We're back at Tasha's house. <laughs> and today, what are we making? Gluten-free strawberry shortcake. That can also be vegan if you don't use butter. Oh, see? I'm like, I've been posting a lot of vegan recipes. I'm not even vegan. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I guess I grew up vegetarian, so that's yeah. probably why. It can also be sugar-free, too. Well, I'm going to make a sugar-free version of it. So wait, it's sugar-free, gluten-free, gluten and if you don't use butter, it's also vegan. vegan. So what would and you use so instead good. of butter? Um, you could use a vegan butter. They have lots of okay. vegan butters. So yeah, if you want to make it vegan, use vegan butter. But strawberry shortcake is my favorite dessert in life. So secretly, I just make Tasha <laughs> make these foods for me so that I can eat them. <laughs> I made this for you, right? No, I've never oh, had I haven't yours. made this for yeah, you. Yeah, okay. I've never had yours. I thought I made it for you because every time I make this for someone, literally, they text me like, I think I need some strawberry shortcake. So all my oh friends my will come over now and try never, and make me make them strawberry you're shortcake. You're never going to get rid of me now. I'm going to do that because, you know, I'm hungry. I know. <laughs> so, what do we do first? Okay, so first you start with fresh strawberries and you want to rinse them, obviously. And what I'm going to do is you just gonna chop them. So you start with chopping up the strawberries. Yeah, just okay. start with chopping up your strawberries. I like to dice them, but not too small because you, I like um, like chunks of strawberries in my, on top of my strawberry shortcake. So the story is like, so growing up, like I was the dessert person in our house and I made everything from brownies. Then I didn't have a gluten allergy, but now I have a gluten allergy and dairy. So um, then it was like a lot easier because I would use Bisquick and make the fresh oh, hot biscuits. Yeah. And I would use Cool Whip, but I mean, I wouldn't even want to eat that stuff now anyway, but. I had to find a way because this is like my absolute favorite dessert in the world. So we chopped up the strawberries. So we chopped the strawberries. Now we're gonna take our strawberries and we are going to... Let me help you. Sure. I'm just the helper. <laughs> I'm gonna slide them into this bowl. Do you want me oh, to eat yeah. these ones? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my sleeves are gonna have strawberry juice all over them. You might wanna roll up your sleeves. <laughs> Now I'll take my sweetener, which you can use sugar. I use um, xylitol or erythritol. It's just a good substitute for sugar. It has a low glycemic and it doesn't bother your stomach. And I mean, it doesn't make you fat. Because <laughs> it has zero it's calories. It's sugar alcohol, so it has zero calories and it tastes just like sugar. Like, I don't even buy sugar for me. I just use this. To sweeten everything. Oh really? And it says gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and organic. <laughs> it's like right up my alley. Yeah. So <laughs> you put it in everything. So I usually take, I don't know, I kind of do this. I don't have like a specific amount because I don't. But you can just do it to taste. I mean, obviously, like, sugar has more... Mm. Would you I say this say kind sugar... of sugar is sweeter than, like, regular sugar? No, it, it's not like stevia. Or okay. It has no aftertaste whatsoever. It literally tastes just like... It tastes like sugar. It's okay. Like food, just like sugar does. Go ham. So, yeah. So, then like, I just added that, that much, much right? Sugar. This is the healthy version. Desserts are not meant to be, like... Even if they're, they're vegan, not to be people, healthy, I love when people are like, it's vegan, it's healthy. I'm like, no, it's still dessert. It's it still, still has sugar, sugar in it. Right. It's still has like, sugar. It's but this does not have sugar. So you're good. Yeah. Just, your strawberries have a natural sugar. Oh, yeah, so you're not getting the calories. Even the almond milk that we're going to use for the biscuits is unsweetened. So, so I take a whisk. You can also take like a potato masher. You don't want to use a food processor or a blender and blend the strawberries at all. So you're just going to mash them. Because you want them more mushy. You want them more Ooh. mushy, but you still want them like, I don't know if you can see yeah. that, like, you still want them intact. So you're really just going to like mash until the strawberries create a nice little juice. Because that juice is what's going to go over your biscuit and then you add the whipped cream on top. It smells so good. 
so the more you mash and you want it to be strawberry juice. You're definitely gonna get strawberry on your shirt. Like, as I might not. I'm not really good. <laughs> on your sleeves, it's like, making me nervous. <laughs> Should I put on my little apron? I have an apron. Oh, uh, you know, I was thinking, I was like, I need to get a cute little apron. See, look, it's creating oh, Yeah. Juice. I didn't think it was like gonna juice. be juicy for some reason. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be more like. So, uh, some people add water. You can add a little water if you want. I don't like to add water because I like to have that. The, like strawberry flavor, like the juice of yeah, the strawberry. Yeah, I feel like it's super watery anyway. Like the strawberries are making a lot of water. So it takes a little second for the erythritol, that's a really hard word to say. I hate saying it. Um, to like dissolve. Erythritol. Erythritol. That's what the I mean, sugar Hopefully is I'm saying it right. Erythritol. <laughs> Wait, where is it? A rip 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 tall. Tall. That's rip what it looks tall. like. That's what it looks like. Do you want the strawberries kind of chunky like that? You want your strawberries chunky. Okay. I mean, I don't really like mushy straw like them mashed. I don't know. It kind of takes the fun out of yeah. eating like pieces of strawberry in your dessert. So I like them to stay intact. So you're mostly doing this to get some water out of it, but yeah. you have to keep the strawberries yeah, intact. Yeah, and so you have your juice. Yeah. See. Yeah. And then you're gonna take these, you're gonna, you can set them aside, or I like to put mine in the fridge or the freezer. If you put them in the freezer, only put them in the freezer for as long as it takes to make the biscuits because you don't want them to freeze. Or you can just put them in the fridge to chill them. So then we're gonna do our biscuits. And the biscuit mix that I use is by Pamela's. You can get it at Whole Foods, maybe Sprouts, Irwan, like stores like that. Um, you can probably order it online too. It's literally the best gluten-free biscuit mix I've ever had. And you can trust Tasha because she knows all the good gluten-free yeah, things. I've been gluten-free for so long. I've had so much trial and error. But I literally live for these biscuits. I have to treat myself to these biscuits like once a month. The ingredients that you're gonna need for the biscuits are almond milk or whatever milk you like. You can use I would stick with almond milk or maybe a cashew milk, something that's a little thicker, just so you get the consistency that you're gonna see here. Um, the milk that I use is by Khalifa Farms. I love their almond milk. So it's vanilla, unsweetened. You can get vanilla sweetened if you want. It's not really that big of a difference. And then you're gonna need butter. And How much butter? So you the whole okay. Stick? This is where the dessert part comes in because you need twelve tablespoons of butter. That's so a stick. You need a stick and a half of butter. Oh, and a half. Yes. You need a stick and a half of butter. <laughs> you need a stick and a half of butter. A stick and, and a half. And you want it baby. a little softened, so not too soft because when you slice it, you don't want it to fall apart. But um, if you can sit, let it sit out for a few minutes before you cut, before you decide to cut it, that's great. That's it. Literally, milk and butter. That's how you make yeah. your biscuits. That's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. I just come in here and I. Oh my gosh! I might so buy this fast. for Danny because he loves biscuits, oh, and I was like, I need to find like a healthier version. Yeah. So on the back, there's like you can make scones, fluffy biscuits, or country biscuits. What? And I'm, I'm Texas, that. so I only make country biscuits because that's those are the best biscuits. Okay, so now we're gonna make the biscuits, and you're just gonna pour your dry mix into a large bowl. You want your butter chilled, but not like so solid that it's hard to cut. So mine's a little softer than I would like, but you're just gonna cut it into squares. And when it's harder, you, you can like... Butter's not melted. You want the butter to be in like beads. Like little beads. Gotcha. I think that's how you get the consistency of the biscuit. So once you add your butter to the flour, make sure you're gonna just start folding it in with your spatula. You don't want to mix it with a mixer or anything. So because you still want like you chunks want chunks, of butter, chunks of butter, but like small, like beads almost. Like so, I fold it usually with a spatula like that, and then I'll take. My little whisk, and then I'll just do this. Oh, okay, and that's how you'll get it like yeah. meaty, mm -hmm. and that's how you get your butter beads, I guess. So it's like chunky. 
I get it. It's my chunky water. So it's literally like. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I feel like last time we filmed it wasn't this loud. It's was so crazy! There's an emergency! <laughs> Fine tune the little balls that you, you want with the. I'm not showing it. Mm -hmm. And I think this is good. Yeah. So that's it's good the to me. Consistency you want. I'll show. All right, and then you just are going to add your almond milk in slowly. Maybe I know she could pour the almond milk. Add the pour. And then you just fold it into the batter. Look how good my pouring is. You're such I'm a, a professional. Pourer. Such a good <laughs> I need her to teach me some recipes next. Oh yeah. But I'm Come literally my like, yeah, she needs to like <laughs> show me some recipes. I'm literally the gluten free. You know what you make that that was so good was we had at your birthday? Brussels um, sprouts? Like Brussels sprouts. Oh, and let's do didn't that. Didn't you also do roasted vegetables? Yeah. They were so good. So That's you're gonna so easy. Yeah. You want your oven preheated to, I think, 350. And you're gonna... I like to use a cast iron skillet. What are you doing with that? Oh, that's what you're gonna make the biscuits make in? Make the biscuits in. Oh. I love cast iron skillets. I do too. I like... They give you iron, iron too, because now I'm like pregnant. They're like, you need iron. And they're like, if you cook in a cast iron, it gives you iron, like you're yeah. like eating iron and it's yeah. good for your blood and all that. Some people think they peel, but they don't peel. This is like not if you take care of you them. You take care of it, and but I love a good cast iron skillet. All right, dough's done. Yep, the dough is mixed. Or so mixed. you have your skillet, cast iron skillet, baking sheet, whatever you choose to use. I like a cast iron skillet because it makes the bottom nice and crispy. They just cook things so well. I cook so many things in my cast iron. Get now we fry in the cast iron. I'm like, oh. Everything just like cooks so good in the cast iron. So you can oil, if you're using a cast iron skillet, you can oil it a little bit just so that the biscuits don't stick that much. But because they're full of butter, you don't have to worry about it too much. So I like to oil mine just a little bit. And then you're gonna take a spoon and you're doing, you're basically gonna drop the biscuits. They don't have to be perfect. Healthy spoonful. Healthy spoonful. This is a tablespoon. Have a spatula and you're literally just gonna drop your biscuit right onto that skillet or whatever you're using to bake okay. them, your baking sheet. So you're not making it like a perfect circle no, or anything? No, you don't. For, I mean, you don't need a perfect circle biscuit. These are basically drop biscuits. And I want them to bake up nice and like big. You're pregnant. I want to feed you. I want to feed you. Girl, I need to eat all the things. things. Trying to fill Anosha up, guys. So then you're gonna bake these for. I think Wait, why are you only making two? What is happening? Do you want more? No, trust me. It's gonna. It's be, gonna be enough. Like, am I gonna? No, I'm not like, even like this it home. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is I don't like to bake them all at once. Okay. That's another thing because they are gluten free. Even when you bake regular biscuits, you don't. I mean, you eat them all at once, but you, if you're gonna bake them and save them, it doesn't really, they don't taste so that So what do you do with this then? So I take the dough and I'll get some wax paper or something. Gotcha. And then I put it, or I can, you can put it into like a Tupperware container. So you just take it and you put it in the fridge. Gotcha. And if you want to make biscuits in the morning, just take it out because you want it to be okay. room temperature because that's the best when, for dough. Yeah. Not to bake it cold. So just take it out in the morning when you wake up, set it on the counter, let it sit out for maybe an hour, 45 minutes if it's warm in your house or whatever, and then you bake it. You want to bake biscuits fresh. That makes sense. Um, they don't I'm taste being good. Greedy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm being very greedy. I'm being but trust so me, greedy. you're gonna like. I'll make, I can always make you another one. Okay, yeah. Then you might have to before I leave here. So you're gonna bake them for 20 to 25 minutes. I like to put a timer for 20 just in case, because you never know how your oven cooks. Some ovens cook faster, some cook slower. And um, we'll show you the end result when they come out. They're gonna look amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. excited. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and we're gonna set the timer. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, hold on. 20 minutes. Okay, Alexa, thank you. Alexa. Alexa. 
A few moments later. So our biscuits are done. The biscuits are done. They're nice and golden, as you can see. So we just pop them into the bowl. They smell so good. They smell I'm gonna like amazing. taste the biscuit. Wise. Don't taste it yet. You gotta taste it with the strawberry okay. shortcake. That's I already touched it and it tastes, it touches okay. right. Like I touched it and it fell right. <laughs> And then here are the strawberries that we chilled. So you can see like they're nice and like got the juice going, you know? So you just take a ladle and you just scoop it right over the Thank top. Thank you, Kylie. Mm -hmm. One more. Uh, maybe a, no, maybe a tiny bit. I think she wants more, guys. Okay, yes. Put the strawberry yeah, on there. Right. <laughs> Easier than I thought. So easy. Once you do it yeah. once, it's like the second time. So it's that's why be you could be like, oh, make, so me quick. make me it real yeah, quick. Yeah, make okay. it fast. And then you're gonna top it with your coconut whipped cream. I like you can use whatever whipped cream you want, but because I don't eat dairy, I really love the cocoa whip by So Delicious. It's dairy free, and I think the sugar is. Let's see. Sugar two grams of sugar per. Two tablespoons. That's really good. Yeah, that is good compared to like regular also, yeah, whipped cream. They also have a light version too. And look, it looks just. It like looks whipped cream. just like whipped cream. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's really creamy. It's literally the. Good. So you keep that. I keep it in the fridge because it comes frozen. Usually, so I keep it in the fridge before I make it so that it softens like this. I want a lot of that. Okay. Just put it on there. Yes. That I looks so good. good. Like I love that. <laughs> that that looks, looks so me feel good about my about myself because I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I'll have some too. And that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. So wait, she has to she has to try. Oh, you have to try it. it. Wait. Did you I gotta get, get some of the biscuits. Yeah, and make sure. It just like crumbled like so like <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> Do you like it? Good. <laughs> it's so good. It's like what everything I dreamed and more. <laughs> I swear when you guys have this for the first time, you'll probably be addicted to it if you like it. Oh my goodness, it's shortcake. so good. It's so good. Wow. So you have to try you have to try this recipe. And let us know how you like it. Please. It's so good. Leave so a comment. Good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And like Pastor said you can also make it vegan, so you can like still enjoy it if you're vegan. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe, eat all the strawberry shortcake. Wow, thanks Tasha. You're welcome. Now it's time for me to go eat. I know. So show's over. <laughs>